Williams and topping our headlines, new details surrounding the unsolved murder of DeShayla Harris during a chaotic and violent night at the oceanfront. The owner of one of the cars involved in the violence that night last March says his car was carjacked by a handful of men with masks and guns and forced him into his car and they were shooting at another group. And right now, police are examining a blue Toyota that was struck by a stray bullet that night in the same area that Harris was. They believe it contains important evidence. The CDC changing how it's making mask guidelines. The agency says they're relying more on data about case severity than case counts. Areas they suggest that can remove are ones where they have a low or medium community level. And now most of our area is considered low. On Friday, the Norfolk School Board voting to make masks optional for students. Effective March 1st, that's next week. Following the change in the state law, there are exceptions. Visitors and employees will still have to wear masks. And masks will be required on school buses. All right, time now for a check on our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Well, hey, Kurt, after a cloudy and cool start, we enjoyed some sunshine in the afternoon, and that did help warm us up. Uh, some areas hit the 70s, including Edenton and Elizabeth City. Most of us were in the 60s, including Virginia Beach and Williamsburg. But a cold front's going to be moving through this evening. That means it's going to get a little bit breezy and a lot cold as we head toward tomorrow morning. We're going to kick off your Saturday with temperatures in the low to mid 30s. And then by the afternoon, we're only warming up into the 40s uh, by tomorrow afternoon. So it is going to be a chilly one for us. Uh, we expect high temperatures for tomorrow only in the mid 40s. And then as we take you into your Sunday, we warm into the low to mid 50s. We'll likely have some wet weather to start off the day, but then clearing in the afternoon and then a warming trend by midweek next week. That's your seven day forecast.